says that if I'm coming from India for Umrah, if I have not uh, uh, worn ihram from my home country, and so is it permissible to wear ihram from Aisha Masjid? This is a frequently asked question. And when you know where the problem is and the solution and the visualization of your own question and problem, you'll find things easy, inshallah. First of all, the miqat and the singular is miqat and the plural is mawaqit. These are designated areas which the Prophet ﷺ told those coming and passing through them, going to Mecca with the intention of Umrah or Hajj, that they must assume ihram. So the Prophet made Abiyar Ali, uh, made the Halifa for the people of Medina, now known as Abiyar Ali, made Al Juhfa for the people of Syria and Egypt, now known as Rabir, made uh, uh, that Qarn. Uh, and it, it, the other uh, areas for those coming from the east, from India, from, and it's called Qarn al Manazil. Now it's known as Wadi Mahram or Sail Kabir. And made Yalamlam for those coming from the south, from Yemen, from Jazan, uh, etc. And it's now called the Saadiyya. And that Irq for those coming from Iraq, and it's called Al Buraybah nowadays. So these are like surrounding the holy shrines, Mecca. And the distance from Mecca varies. The Prophet said, These mawaqit, these locations, are for those who come passing through with the intention of Umrah or Hajj that they must assume their ihram from it. So this is a crystal clear instruction from the Prophet ﷺ. Brother Muhammad says that I did not wear my ihram from my home country. You don't have to. Because your home country is not the miqat itself. So you fly all the way from Mumbai, and you cross the sea into the Arabian Peninsula, and you pass the Mam and you pass Riyadh until you come to Taif, which is about 35 minutes away from Jeddah airport, from your landing. So they announce that we are now approaching the Miqat in five minutes. Only then you are recommended to wear your Ihram and to say your Talbiya, Labbaik Allahumma Umrah, or Labbaik Allahumma Hajj. This is Sunnah, but the intention actually is in the heart. Now you assume that you are in the state of ihram. So if someone says, Akhi, this is some tib, this is some perfume, have some. And you said, no, I am in the uh, state of ihram. Wearing the clothes is not ihram itself. So you can wear your clothes from Mumbai airport, but you're still not in the state of ihram. So you can uh, apply perfume, you can shave if you wish. Uh, uh, your body hair, you can do things that are restricted for a muhrim because you did not assume the state of ihram. Once you arrive or approach the miqat, as stated earlier, then you have to assume the ihram and you are in the state of ihram. If you landed in Jeddah while you were intending to make umrah, then you are ordered to go to Taif to assail uh, or, or to Wadi Muhrim and assume your ihram from there because this is your miqat this is your designated area which you should assume your ihram from if you don't and you assume it from Masjid Aisha or from Jeddah or from or anywhere else then you are obliged to slaughter a sheep and distribute it to the poor people in Mecca